it's quite shameful when people in authority come to play to gallery when they have not done anything about it. As of the fifth day of the strike, we have not got any message to come to the table to discuss the strike. I ever got a message from one of those in authority telling us that we do not have a right to go on strike based on the judgment of on February 21st, 2017. You have not done anything since 117 days since we have given privileges to try and find ways in resolving the issues. Instead, you come to address press and give false information. It's quite shameful when people fail to do their own job and put blames on the other persons. For starters, sir, it was said by them that for the six residents have been paid um, the debt and service insurance. But you are aware that we lost just 19 members. And as it speaks, as of today, no member have been paid debt and service insurance. That is not state, it's, it's federal. But we know that most states do not want to have health insurance for our members or health workers within there. Let's go back again. The um, payments of uh, members on this platform with, um, for places like the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, UPTH, UCH and the bottom, have been owed three to six months salaries. And up to now, they have still not been paid. They were meant to be captured and enrolled into IPS platform. Capturing was stopped by the head of service. And you come to television and tell, tell to come to the media and tell us that we should resume work because you have a court judgment that was done in 2017 and on February 21st. It's shameful. In, in several clients, when you don't do your job, you need to leave the place and let people that are capable enough to do their jobs. You can't have signed an MOA with us and with making everything you have said. And you have not even called us since the beginning of, on the 2nd of August, 8 a.m., when the strike started. And the first thing you're telling us is that we signed, signed a document, we're not honoring it, and we need, we need to resume work. They literally stand up to their responsibilities. It would be, has there been any compliance by government at any level to any of the MOAs that was signed with the doctors? Has there, there been any compliance whatsoever? And which ones are outstanding? Once, the ones we had compliance initially was to have abolishment of the bench fee. But as it stands, um, Professor Bode, Chris, in Lut, reintroduced another doctrine to it. Instead of the bench fee, it changed into training fee. And we, we asked, we um, wrote letters to the Minister of Health, Minister of Labor, the Speaker of the House of Rep, House of Senate, the SGF, and went to the Minister of Finance, telling them that he introduced the branch fee back. He didn't just stop there. He now um, went to making those that are supposed to come and come for training there, put them in bottlenecks and stop their posting and told them that those places are available in loot just because he wants to victimize our members from training. That is the way we have had 100%. Up to now, sir, over 114 members of house officers are still, not, they are still having irregularities in payment of their salaries. The head of service brought out a document telling um, um, the house officers they are no longer in the scheme of service. And now the Lagos State Government have adopted that secular, meaning they will not be paid salaries, meaning they will be paid allowances. And the one year of service is not going to be counted for in the civil service. That's one. Two, on the um, um, the gift mix platform, you are supposed you know that there's a lot of brain drain in Nigeria, and we need to have doctors training and working in our different institutions. As it stands, we have over a thousand seven hundred members under the gift mix platform, which is a non regular payment platform. And part of our MOA sign was that those members should be allowed to be migrated into IPs. But as it stands, 
Even after three months of verification by the budget office, the head of service brought out circular again, stopping the capturing of those members. Meaning, over three to um, six months have not been paid to them. University of Calabar, University of um, UCH, Ibadan, Port Harcourt, Ilori, Lokoja, have still not been paid salaries. They have not asked why they are not captured. They have not have asked why their they irregularities. They have not done anything about them. Well, let's talk about the minimum wage. The minimum wage was a consular adjustment made by the President Buhari, Secretary M. Buhari. And now I have been paid some members. We told you that other members have not been paid. Up to now, nothing has been done about it. The salary shot falls of 2014, 2015, 2016. Up to now, nothing has been done about it. Those are five things that have been given to federal government, not attributed to any state government. And you are coming on air to tell us that most things we are going on strike for is for states. It's wrong information to Nigerians and it's a disservice to Nigerians. I need they need to be the table. Yeah, has there been any conversation with the government up until now since the strike started? Now to the strike started. It's only when they want to send threats to us, telling us we must come and resume work on Friday, which is today. Apart from that, I've not had any communication from the Minister of Health, Minister of Labor. The only person that I've called us is um, Honorable Tanku Sununu, the committee chairman on, of House of Rep, who said they are scheduling a meeting for 11, 11 a.m. Um, in Abuja. Apart from that, nobody has communicated to us. You, you uh, hinted at the, uh, the court judgment. Uh, from what that judgment says, um, it, it is clear that the NARD is not deemed by the court as a trade union and consequently cannot go on strike as a trade union, but as essential service providers. Uh, is this something that is known to the NARD? No, when, when you see someone that is drowning, you come and use anti to speak to means. Speak to the, the, the judgment of the on, court. On the, on the judgment, the judgment was against the past president in 2017, Dr. Oyebuchi um, and John, where some members were taking, um, the National Nigerian Social Service doctors were taken to court and said that we did not have a right to go on a strike. But actually, if you read the judgment in full, it was actually in favor of us. But we have a right for fundamental human rights. We have a right of our, of our association. We have a right to express ourselves as a union. You signed an MOA. When you were signing an MOA with us, you didn't know we didn't have rights then to go on, go on a strike. Then all of a sudden, because you just woke up and still think that you have failed in all ways of trying to make things work, you resort to threats. It's a shameful act. Speak to what, the, what, the, what that, that judgment says, that as an essential service provision institution or body, doctors shouldn't go on strike because it concerns lives, it concerns public health, among several other things like that. Almost saying, you know, doctors are like policemen that cannot go on strike. I'm, I'm not a lawyer. I know there's a son in the studio and they interpret the law. I've discussed with my, our, our, our lawyer, and I was told practically that the judgment was not interpreted in the right way. I think that's why the Minister of Health is getting it wrong. The same thing that they said about the um, 2014, 2015, 2016 area and said the matter was in court. Even when up to now we have gone to court to check the false information. In the judgment they gave to us um, that of the court case on the 17th, in 2017 against John Lipchi, the past NAD president. It was said that, it didn't say that we didn't have a right of association, that they didn't ban us from demonstrating our fundamental human rights or to act as a union. It clearly stated that they had at that time in 2017, not in subsequent years as an association of Nigerian civil rights and doctors. So they should stop shying away from making and trying to make the system work. 
and showing the size of failure, what they do, and address. You know, we have a, a, 